exactly. Where wasn't he helping us in the first place? I hate men. I hate men. He made me. <laughs> he made. Look at my fucking feet, guys. In a fucking nowhere. Good morning, good morning, <laughs> good morning guys, we are going on a girls trip, um, I'm with my cousin, we are going to Jenning, it's the first time that I'm going to Jenning, I'm really excited, we are at her office right now, she's picking up a couple of things, and then we hit the road, um, apparently we're also going to pass by her farm, and I am not dressed farm appropriately, so, <laughs> jokes on me. Anyway, I just wanted to check on you guys and say welcome to a vlog. I hope you see this one. I hope so because there are 10,000 vlogs on this phone that have not made it out. So yeah, I just brought my ice cubes and this wine and you know, we're just chilling. Okay, I'll talk to you when we're getting on the road. How cute and cool is this little speaker? Um, that I got from Hi-Fi It is like around 200 bucks or something like that Ignore that sound, that's the car um, We're going to be blasting this thing to Ajin um, Also, it's running like 2 hours, I don't know I don't, I don't know why I expected it to be 10 hours Anyway, look at me Make it make sense Do not Do not kill me, I'm supposed to be vlogging But we just checked into Cresta In Jenning We're in running i was supposed to be vlogging on the way here but i decided to just have a nice long conversation with my cousin so chicken licken hotel oh that's my writing and um i'm gonna eat now <coughs> hello it's me i'm the problem it's me okay so we just got into our room and laid our bags and finished eating so now i'm gonna give you guys a room tour i realized i have never done a hotel room tour so this might be cool what <laughs> you don't need to hide yourself entry obviously this is the door and then on the left we have the table and a coffee station that table has some of our stuff and food and then <laughs> you're kidding why are you hiding yourself <laughs> and then there's the bed um what else tv i don't think it's working another table for extra storage i guess um basic wardrobe a floor length mirror and that's me in my fabulous weight gain thick self <laughs> and that's a small fridge curious to know what it has nothing and then on the right we have the bathroom that's me again and the sink some hand wash what is this hand and body lotion hand and body lotion and um where you put your face up, toilet, and a shower, and some towel. And that is it. That is the room tour. I'm really struggling to vlog because I genuinely just want to spend time with my cousin and chit chat and laugh, but he has promised me an adventure, and I'm so full. So full. So we're supposed to be relaxing now until the sun behaves and then we're going to go to her farm to go check how the progress I guess. I am not dressed for farming. I don't know how farmers dress but this is just me tapping into my road trip, girls trip self. So I will keep checking in if anything interesting happens but for now we're just chilling on the bed relaxing so talk to you later do you know the story 
of why I can carry bread and lettuce in a cooler box. I have no idea. <laughs> 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 one day, somebody just randomly gave her beef patty and <laughs> she didn't have bread and lettuce. So I wasn't ready for that. She has learned to be ready for anything. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> What's worse is Rosie did a lot of my dishes. I keep on saying, "Give me a healing arrang beef patty." Come on, it's And her first thought was, "If I had a loaf of bread." And a lettuce. And a lettuce. And a lettuce. So this is from the. This is from that. What did you say? Event there. The man said it's all about the man with him. Tell me what you think about me. I buy my own diamonds and I buy my own rings. Only ring your celly when I'm feeling lonely. When it's all over, please get up and leave. Question, tell me how you feel about this. Try to control me, boy, you get dismissed. Pay my own car note and I pay my own bills. Always 50-50 in relationships. The shoes on my feet. It's day 57 and I'm still stuck. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, I just want to say that sometimes you realize that things are not meant for you. Like, I'm not meant for this life. This life, sure. The animals are pretty, but so am I. And being stuck. Uh. Sure, the animals are cute. But the night look the whole And um, there's some goats as well. Oh, that's a cow. I'm sorry. That's a cow. I'm embarrassed for my soul. Oh, yeah, the goats are there actually. They're not, they're not too far. Goats, cows, horses. And I <laughs> It's not easy being a baddie. Right? Okay, I'm doing. Are you trying to get us out of here? Should we try to reverse? Should I try to reverse? It's been 24 hours since we've been stuck here. Imagine if you Well, there's hope because there's a car coming. Hopefully, they help us. Yeah, oh my god, I pray that he helps us. Please, we're just city folk. Also, men who are offering help here are doing it very rudely and very condescendingly. And they're mansplaining every single thing. And I am annoyed. Okay? I'm annoyed. Also, do you guys see? We are acting like we put ourselves in this situation exactly. on purpose. But all you're doing is asking for help. That's so dramatic. 
That's why I just say let's universally unite as women against men and their egos. Also, do you guys see there's this car right there? That right thing is a car. They're waiting for us to get out of here so that they can drive us here. They're not even helping. Three people in the car. I'm on point. Okay. Why wasn't he helping us in the first place? I hate men. I hate men. He made me. <laughs> he made. Look at my fucking feet, guys. In a fucking nowhere, I've been pushing this small little car, and he had all of this in the first place. I don't like men, honestly. Ah! Don't let me interrogate myself. Tell me what what happened. <laughs> drive around the bush like this with the windows open there's a big possibility that a snake that has been chilling on the branches just pops into the car and onto your head why the fuck would he do that because you surprised it the snake is surprised you are surprised everyone is surprised everyone is surprised so next thing you know you have a snake on your lap on your lap it's happened before. it's just it, it ha where to you no, to a friend. <laughs> how, do you, you how do you know but these experiences? Jesus. Because I spend a lot of time in the bush. Okay, I'm listening. So, I'm listening. I was just about to give you a different scenario. I was just about to give you a different scenario. I was the branches <laughs> like randomly <laughs> like this. And then there was a snake just chilling on the branches. He called us. We saw it like literally more hole pellets in the mozilla. Yeah. So what happened was we were at the Okavango Delta. We were doing our um, our daily surveillance thing, we we're just checking the wild animals. It was one of the courses at school. Yeah. And then next thing we had this fence, we are renting like college, the cruiser as a AV swaban, and then we went to like my university anywhere. Yeah. So we are minding our own business, sitting on those chairs, and it's a thing. Then the next thing you know, I agree to the trees in the delta. You want to go gym because they explain to your board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next thing we know, branch, you go to the same thing. Laura, I went on my own, I look forward just like that. Her name was Laura. And I don't know where she is now. Mila Haka Moza, she will tell you that happened to me. So you have to flip around and oh, well, she flipped around and then chucked the snake out. Like a random snake. What type of snake was it? I was just a brown snake. I don't know which kind was it because no one was really in a mood <laughs> to see what kind it was. Everyone, what people wanted was to get it out, outside oh, yeah. the car. Get yeah. the snake out of the car or people get out of the car. No, get the snake out of the car. It was such an interesting, exhilarating and scary experience. Did you just say exhilarating? It was. Because it was so random like and unexpected. So you know now how random things like that can happen. Okay, when you see a snake on the road or on the branches, is there a way to tell if this snake is like you know how you can tell how this animal is is agitated or um, or rattled? No pun intended for the rattled snake. Can you tell if a snake is already offended and is ready to just kill you? Yeah, if it's moving in, you know. With every animal, if you are agitated, it's going to show. Yeah. It's similar with snakes because they are usually such quiet and stealthy animals. Their idea and their plan is to, to make sure that they are not seen. Yeah. So the minute it notices that you've seen it and it sees you, and also you pose as some kind of a threat, they are going to get agitated, and that's when you know what are they going to run away or try to strike at you. The, the two things depends on how you react as well. If you are violent and trying to kill it, the snake is going to try to defend itself. But if you are still far enough for it to run away, it's going to run away. I don't know what it uses to run away with because it doesn't have legs, but it will definitely run away. Yeah, guys. Okay. So we just got back to the hotel. The time is... minutes past seven so we're just gonna shower and we're gonna go out i'm going to experience a yearning night out apparently it's a lot of fun 
So we're gonna see about that. Okay guys, we are done getting ready. We went to the golf club right across the road. It's across, across from Cresta where we're sleeping. See you later, my friends. Show, see, show your outfit. Okay, so I'll start. Bag, pink t-shirt, bodysuit, boyfriend jeans, and heels. <laughs> Hi guys, I got this cover oil from Foshini. I got this from Topline. I got this from Primark and I got my Wait, shoes Primark from Primark. Primark. It's in <laughs> Scotland. Wow, bougie, bougie, bougie. <laughs> and this is how we look. Hi guys. Let's go have so much. Fun. This place is apparently the, the place where people hang out and everything. It's cool, it's chill. The people here are just minding their own business. No no pressure to like dress up or anything. They're just automatic they're like they're just here to have fun. There's a live band, there's music, the drinks. But the drinks are expensive. Like we bought this can for 30 kula each and there's the two of us, so that's 60 kula. So I don't know how I feel about that. I'm in the what is the lounge and I'm the only person because I needed to just check in on you guys. My cousin just met up with her old friends because she used to stay here in Jenny. So she's quite a popular person today. You can, you can imagine. But I'm happy to just be here and experience a town that I've never visited before. So I'm very excited. I look so pretty. I love my makeup. I love every time I put on pink. Pink on a black woman. Top tier. <laughs> Galaxy Janine. This is called Galaxy. Oh, it's called Janine Galaxy. It's, it's called Janine Galaxy. Or Galaxy Janine. It's a bar that's very. Everyone who stays in Janine, they're very familiar with it. Is it also because the footballers from Janine play for Janine Galaxy? Is this where they hang out? I wish I knew if that's the reason. I only stayed in Janine, but I don't know if this is the reason. But I just know it's a very if so, familiar sport for a lot of people. We are here to see some footballers. Woo! Who's dingy? It's re up time, and I'm just re upping on my gin and my sprite my favorite combination so i'm drinking gin and i'm putting it in this bikini thing okay okay all right i actually like galaxy galaxy is much more fun than the other one. yes because i feel like the other one was more grown up it was like you know the guys who are like established and whatever and here everybody's so carefree and dancing and just you know it's the youth the man them <laughs> It's all about the money, money, money. It's all about the money, money, money. We just want to make the world dance. Forget about the price. It's all about the... How much time do you swallow? Which one? Okay. Which one? The poor, no? Money is the same in as well. Okay, we have arrived back at the hotel after I don't know how many hours of partying but we have arrived back and I bought this fries and Russian combo for 30 bucks we didn't expect that journey should be this expensive but it's what comes with them um, you know being a mining town and expecting everybody who stays here to be money moneyed like it doesn't make sense make it make sense to the small person like me literally <laughs> why are you sleeping on the floor <laughs> why are you sleeping on the floor why and you are like halfway undressed so it's just crazy to me anyway let us eat these chips and Russians that we bought for 30 pula that my soul is not happy about. Wash off this makeup and sleep. And I will see you tomorrow. My makeup looks really pretty though. Guys, 9.37 I just woke up. Um, 
I'm sleepy, I'm drunk, I'm hungry, I just had Russian and chips, now I want ice cream. Ice cream I think should be like vanilla, but like have chocolate set up. And then maybe some biscuits on top. <laughs> hey, hey, what a hectic week. We came back to the hotel around, do you even remember that time? Not that time. It was like 25 minutes to 3. Cause then I remember I got on a video call, not a video call, I tried to call Bay to tell him that we arrived. But us arriving here was a matter of God and his angels. <laughs> because of certain madam. <laughs> Please don't do that for people now in my driving. <laughs> I was discombobulated, but when I, you were just disheveled, okay? <laughs> Oh my god. You know what annoys me the most? Is that now we have to get ready and pack everything and I don't have the energy for that. Check out, imagine. I don't have oh the energy. God. I Let's don't want to stay until the last minute. The, until they sure. literally drag us out and the way they're gonna drag us out is they're gonna have to help us pack. So they'll yeah. do they, they'll drag us out. That would be so much better. And the fact that I don't want to see any, any alcohol for the next 10 years and the fact that I still see a lot of alcohol in that cooler bag box is driving me insane. Hi! Well, happy Sunday guys. I am closing off this vlog. I'm closing Until off next time. I'm closing off this vlog. I don't even know if I bought it. I'm closing off this vlog, editing it so that I can post it um, around lunch today. So maybe in this time before we pack up, let me finish editing it and then when I get home to Gabs. What, what time are we getting to Gabs? We should be in Gabs around lunch, two-ish. Okay, around that time then I'll post it. And then I'll start another one. Ooh, <laughs> hey. And let me keep us waiting because we are uh, waiting for the other one. The problem is I will edit a video, watch it, and then feel like it's not good enough. I have that problem, so okay. bear with me, guys. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and let, let me know what you think, what you thought about our joining adventure. Tell me where I should have visited. I remember I was comparing clubs and bars and joining like I know. <laughs> uh, and subscribe, most importantly, subscribe, 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 and become a part of the Betty Squad. You know, <laughs> bye, see you later. <laughs>